Hey guys, what's going on? This is Sakura the Gamer here with another with a another deck profile. Uh, this time it's the Digimon trading card game that came out in 2020. Um, and uh, today we're just gonna go over uh, the Jessmon deck. So I've made a competitive build of uh, of the Jessmon red deck. Uh, it's not technically it's not a straight red white uh, red deck. It's a red white with the Sister Mon support. Uh, so let's get into it. Okay, guys. So first of all, I'm running three copies of Demi Maramon. Uh, and when it when it digivolves, basically the inherited effect is when this Digimon attacks a player, it gets up to two, uh, up to a thousand DP for um, for that turn, uh, or not for the turn, but it, well, yeah, for the for the turn when attacking. Um, so basically, I. Uh, let's say I go from Debbie Maramon into Huckmon, um, and then Huckmon gains a thousand DP when it when it when it attacks, right, guys? Okay. So the second egg we're gonna run, we're gonna run two copies of Gigimon. Um, so on my turn and once per turn, uh, when an opponent's Digimon is deleted, this Digimon gets plus two thousand DP for the turn. Um, when and, and that's an inherited effect. So again, it another Digimon has to be above on the Gigimon and it has to be in play. Okay, guys, let's uh, let's uh, let's put those over here and we're gonna go right into the actual deck. So we're gonna go into um, we're gonna do Huckmon, three copies of Huckmon, sorry, four copies of Huckmon. Um, its ability is when you play it, you you um, reveal the top five cards, and uh, of your of your deck, and then if you get a, a, a card with Hakmon in its name, Jessmon, or anything um, or anything Sistermon, um, you can add two of them to your up to two of them to your hand. Okay. Um, so and basically any way that you do that, like you can do, um, like I could bring a Jessmon to my hand or I could bring a Sistermon Blanc or anything like that. So, um, going into the non Huckmon cards, we're going to play two Geomon. Um, so the Geomon is, excuse me guys, let me just move my camera a little bit. So Geomon can basically like, so basically the reason I use Geomon is so that on my turn, if my opponent has a level six or higher Digimon, I can actually use a play cost of four, and and basically what I do is I call I call it bio emerging, uh, like the season three, like the show, like the like season three, and he goes right from him to right into um, right into Gallimon. Okay, so that's Gallimon. I run one copy of the. Starter deck seven, which is the Gallant Mon starter deck, um, Agumon. So basically, he's got an inherited effect where uh, when this Digimon attacks the uh, attacks a player, it gets two thousand DP for the turn. Uh, so like, let's say I Digivolve him into something like Bao Hakmon. So when I attack somebody's security, I believe it's someone's security attack or the player directly, um. He gains 2,000 plus DP, so he becomes an 8,000, and then he attacks the stack. Uh, the next one we run four of, but it's not a red card, like I said before, is Sistermon. So we have four Sistermon Blanc. She's a blocker on all turns, as long as you have a card with Huckmon, Jessmon, or anything Royal Knights. Yes, or anything with Royal Knight in its typing. Um, if you have anything in play like that, you can use her as a blocker. And then when you play her, actually play her, um, you get to draw one card. So she's a very good draw power card. And then we run three copies of Bao Hakmon. Um, basically, if uh, if I have a if I have a Digimon with Sistermon in its name, uh, I can delete one of my opponent's Digimon with five thousand or less DP, um, as long as it's and in, as long as it's inherited by the Digimon above it, like the Digimon card on top of it. It's also a 6,000 DP, which is really good. 
Um, and, and yeah, and next we're gonna use two copies of the DP or the starter deck seven Graumon. Um, when he, when an opponent's Digimon is deleted, I gain one memory, um, as an inherited effect. So again, if you were to put something like, um, I'm going to go War Graumon on top of him, he gains the inherited effect, he gains... Uh, he attacks a Digimon uh, if possible, and then when that Digimon is destroyed, he get, I gain another memory for my turn. Uh, the next card we're going to play is actually two copies of Geo Greymon. This is, again, one of the ones from the Gallantmon deck. This particular copy, okay, guys, this particular copy um if it's in the security stack at the end of the battle, uh, I, I can play him without its play cost, or on play, I get to delete one of my opponent's Digimon with 4,000 DP or less, which is which is great. Um, so he's not really a heavy, heavy hitter, um, but he's he's a good a good Digimon to use, to, to delete my opponent's stuff when it's used in the security stack. Now here's one of my favorite cards in the deck, Sistermon Seal. I have run four copies. This card does stack, and I have both the. I have two. Um, I have. I'm lucky enough to honestly have two copies of the alt art, and I have two copies of the normal art. Um, basically, on all turns, all of my Digimon with Hakmon in their names or Royal Knight in their typings gain two plus two thousand DP. It stacks. So, if, like, let's say I have all four out, which I've done before, uh, casually against my friends, uh, all of my Hakmon and Royal Knights. And Jessmon would be able to get um, gain basically 8,000 DP in that on all turns, like on mine and my opponent's turn. Um, as well, when I play her, I gain one memory. Uh, so again, she's a nice memory gain, and she's a very nice DP gain card. Um, next, we're gonna go with Savior Hakmon. He, I'm only running three of him because I don't want to clog the deck up with a, with a, like too many Hakmon cards. Um, that's why I'm running three of Bao, three of Savior, and then I'm going to actually also show you that I'm running three of Jessmon as well instead of four. So um, it's it's effective when it's digi when it when I'm digivolving from like a champion. Um, I can't I can't like let's say I have Bao Huckmon out. I digivolve into Savior Huckmon. Essentially, I can um, essentially. I can be like essentially I can just digivolve into it from any other red champion level Digimon, so anything level four. And then um, I can play a sister mom without play playing its cost. So um, I digivolve and then I can actually play a seal right from my hand without its cost and I get its effects. Which is insane. Like I, I absolutely love that. Um, which makes it all the better. Uh, next, we're actually going to run four copies of War Graumon. Uh, and this is, again, this is the one from the Gallimon deck. And I, I'm going to say, yes, this build was done um, with the Gallimon deck. About half of this build is from the Gallimon deck. Um, so basically, like, when I attack, I get to delete, delete one of my opponent's Digimon with 3,000 DP or less, which is okay. It's not too great. It's not terrible. Um, it's, 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 it's good. It's, it's, it's... It's pr it's really good, um, um, like it's not sorry it's not really good it's 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 decent, uh, and then it's got its inherited effects which are basically like once per turn on my turn, uh, when an opponent's Digimon is deleted this Digimon gains plus one security, um, so it checks one additional card, uh, and it's also an eight thousand DP I normally do a security check with him, um, and. I, yeah, I just do one, normally one security check with him in a game. Uh, so I'm, I'm playing one copy of Rise Greymon. Yes, this is the Rise Greymon, f again, from the Gallantmon deck. Um, and I get to delete one of my opponent's Digimon with 5,000 DP or less, which is a better option. Um, I could go from, like, Geo Greymon into Rise Greymon, and then on play, if my opponent's got anything like a champion level or a rookie level with 5,000 DP, I can I can delete it. Okay, so next we're going to get into the Megas. So I'm playing three copies of Jessmon. Jessmon is the most insane card in this deck. 
Uh, basically, when I'm attacking, I can play a Digimon card with Sistermon in its name as long as it's in my hand. So I attack with him, I summon Sistermon, then I, I gain its second ability, which allows me to use Piercing, which is when I attack a Digimon, I get to check at least one security when attacking a Digimon. So it automatically attacks the Digimon, and then it automatically attacks the security sa uh, stack. Um, so having three of these bad boys in this deck is quite vital. I know some people use four in their build, but I only use three. I don't want to clog the deck up with Huckmon and Jessmon cards. Because um, again, it's, you know, it, it relies on other, other s strategies too. Um, I run two Gallantmon, again, just for the sole fact that I can Digivolve into it right from Geomon. Um, for a play cost of four, which is absolutely insane. I can I can skip all the other Digivolutions as long as my opponent basically has a Mega or higher on their field. Um, and then he gets two security, two security attacks per turn. And then when he is attacking, I get to delete one of my opponent's Digimon with 4,000 DP or less, or the Digimon, if the Digimon was deleted by the effect, um, and if the Digimon was deleted by the effect, this Digimon gains plus 3,000 for the turn, which is insane. Okay, whoops. That's okay. Next, we're going to play, I'm going to show you, we're going to play one copy of Shine Greymon. I don't play very many of him because um, I'm not very fond of Shine Greymon, to be honest. It's a Gallantmon deck card. Um, it's a great card, but honestly... Um, Shine Greymon is one of my absolute favorites, um, and, um, you know what, he's, well, he's not, sorry, he's not one of my absolute favorites, I should reword that. He's, he's a good card to use, again, he's a, he's a, he's a double stack, a double security stack attacker, and he also does, um, like, he's also, like, a, uh, and then, like, he's a piercer if you attack a Digimon, so he attacks the stack once, if you attack a Digimon, and then, yeah, like, so the same thing basically is Gallantmon. Now, I'm going to show you both the copies. I have the normal copy and the alternate copy of the BT4, sorry, BT5 Omnimon. So I run two copies of BT5 Omnimon, um, and uh, what, I'm, what I do is I'm going to... Um, like what he does is insane so like let's say i want to um end my turn i can digivolve into him and when i'm digivolving into him he gains blitz and then he can attack your opponent on their turn or their security stack um also on all turns if an opponent's effect would delete him if he's got any um any digimon with level six below him he i can i can trash that 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 card that level six Digimon, and um, and he's a t and he, he and he's able to um, and he's able to attack on my opponent's turn. Okay, so next we're gonna get into the option cards. So I run three memory boost, three red memory boost. So this card is quite gr really good in this deck. Um, it's only a cost of three, and yeah, like. I can look at the top four cards of my deck and I can add a red Digimon to them. Uh, so it's really good for searching out Jessmon, Hawkmon, Gallantmon, uh, Gilmon, all, all of my Digimon. Um, so this is quite valuable and quite, um, this is quite valuable to my deck right now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, uh, so like I, I play it. I, I reveal, like, let's say the top four cards were um, two Omnimon and then the, the Shine Greymon and the Gallantmon. I would take the Gallantmon. Honestly, that's what I normally do. Anyways, it is half the time I take Gallantmon. And then it stays on the field. And then you can trash it. And then basically you gain two memory as of the next turn or after. It stays on the field as long as you don't use its second ability, its second effect. Uh, I'm going to use two Atomic Blasters. Um, basically, hey, like, uh, choose a, to a total of up to 8,000 DP and delete that Digimon, and I can use it on my main. Um, normally, I don't use these guys unless they're in my security. Uh, they've got a higher high cost. If I can use them on my turn without giving my opponent a higher cost, I will. Um, but yeah, so like, and then I can uh, I can activate the 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 cards main of this thing's main this card's main effect 
if uh, if um, if it's in my security for no cost at all. Next, I run two copies of a delicate plan. Um, so a delicate plan is a great card uh, on the main on the main phase. Uh, one of my Digimon games, this Digimon does not activate the effects of any option card. Uh, activate the security. Uh, uh, effects of any option card in play for the turn. So, like, I play a delicate plan, um, and then I'll let, like, let's say I have Omnimon out. Sorry. Um, so, let's say I have Omnimon out. So, when I have Omnimon out and I, ha I play a delicate plan, um, and I attack the security stack, and it's something like Atomic Blaster, that effect can't act activate and do anything to Omnimon. Right? So, anything that prevents it from being destroyed like it, it, that's exactly what that does um so we, we're running one copy of lightning joust this comes in the uh the starter at Calamon. um and basically anything uh one of my digimon just basically gains plus 2000 dp for the turn and if this if there is the same amount of cards uh, in my security stack is less than or equal to my opponents one of my digimon gets an extra security um security attack uh, I play one Judgment of the Blade, um, really great for Royal Knights and Huckmon. Um, so basically, yeah, it, it it can just attack an unsuspended Digimon, um, and then I can just play. Uh, you may play one Digimon card with Sistermon in its name. So I like like let's say this goes from my security stack. Okay, I activate it. Okay, it activates. So I get one Sistermon from my hand or trash without paying its cost. Um, then I add this card to my hand. That, that's great. That's insane. So, wow. Like, that's like I would run more, more than one, but I'm just running one for now. It's proving to be pretty good. Um, but, yeah. Uh, we're going to go through the, the next part. Um, so I'm currently working on the Tamers. I'm currently using two Marcus. So Marcus is really good. Um, he only works for my Greymon, unfortunately, for me to gain the memory. But if I have two memory or less, I can set my memory to three automatically at the start of my turn. And then on my turn, if one of my cards with Greymon and its name attacks, other than uh, the, the Greymon specified, um, I can gain one memory. Regard and I can suspend him and gain one memory. So that's Marcus, guys. Um, and then I got one more card for this deck, and that is Tai Kamiya. So I only have one copy right now. Um, I'm trying to get my hands on another copy. Uh, I currently have a friend setting it away from me. Um, but at the start of my turn, same thing as, as Marcus. Um, if I have two memory or less, um, I can set it to three. And then any all of my Digimon with four or more Digivolution cards gain a plus one security um, for the security for the security attack, so um, that's insane. Um, I need just a second Taikamiya, and then my deck will basically basically be complete. Um, but yeah, let me let me know what you guys think. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time in the next deck profile. Peace.